Let's go shopping vegan style at one of my favorite stores, Sprouts. Sprouts is one stores to pick up fresh produce and unique items that are vegan. Many, many delicious pre-prepared vegan items are in Sprouts. All over the store, there's wonderful, wonderful plant-based options. Candy, chocolate, it's the ice cream, pies, pizza. It's wonderful. I've replaced most of my oils with virgin coconut oil. And this is my favorite brand from Sprouts. This is a water-based oil. Um, much better for, for you than uh, many other oils. A tablespoon of apple cider vinegar is very good for your stomach's probiotic environment. I love the taste of vinegar. So I'll drink vinegar straight just to get up. Mm. I like this vegan ketchup they have here. I'm not a big organic person at all. In some vegetables, they say it makes absolutely no difference whether you get organic or not. When the price is the same for organic, I get the organic. You don't want oils and hydrogenated oils in any of your food. And I feel strong and I have so much energy. It's just unbelievable. I wish every man my age could feel as strong and as full of life as I do. Okay, this is one of my favorite sections, ice cream. I like this cookie dough, so delicious. Not bad. This is my favorite. Ooh. I'm telling you, this right here, this right here. Cookies and cream is good too, I've tried that. These are delicious. My mom likes these too. If I buy this box, it's impossible for me not to eat all of them. This is all plant-based stuff. I've tried these, they're not that good. Nah, I love the Impossible Burger, which I, I was eating the Beyond Burgers, but my Ralph's recently got the Impossible Burger. When it first hit my mouth, it was like, mm! Butter is dairy, and dairy is really liquid meat. So when you eat any kind of dairy, whether it's ice cream, milk, or butter, you're basically eating meat in a different form. We have uh, vegan butters, just as delicious, that you can enjoy instead of dairy. My friend brought over some of this when we had a vegan party. It's delicious. It's an Earth Balance original, great buttery taste. So you can use this as a butter replacement on whatever you want, toast or making cookies. It's like margarine, you know? So don't eat too much of it. But this is a very tasty brand. This is my favorite milk, it's oat milk. And it's my favorite because it tastes like oatmeal cookies. It's great on cereal. Um, I make some frozen food smoothies out of it all the time. And I usually buy like three half gallons at a time because I go through so much of it. So as a vegan, you don't have to give up your sweet tooth. You can eat cookies and chocolate and cake, you know, at every meal if you want. This is funny. When I first went vegan, I watched a, a documentary called Cowspiracy. And about halfway through, I thought, okay, I'm vegan. And I started, I had no idea what to do. I thought it was gonna be so hard. And I was really quite, you know, nervous. Luckily, my wife at the time was vegan, so she did give me some help. So here's what I ate. These are the type of things that a meat person eats the first a couple months or whatever, a couple weeks or whatever, when they're going vegan, it's because they look like his old food. This is looky like a chicky. This looky like a meatball. -y. It's all soy. It's all soy, so it's delicious. So anyway, plants can be shaped and molded and recipied into any shape or form or consistency that you want. It's a fish substitute. And does it taste exactly like fish? No. You like flavors that fish are cooked with. If I gave you a piece of salmon and said, eat this salmon raw, you wouldn't be able to do it. Eating flesh and gristle and bones and little chunks of veins and stuff like that, that's not, you really don't like that, but you like the spices when they're mixed in and the oils and the butter, you like that. Well, we can take those spices and oils and butter and put it into plants and turn them into anything that you want. So something I've been doing lately is buying some of my produce frozen. 
just because it gives you many more options. So I'll just take it home, throw it in the freezer. If I'm making chili, I can whip out a bag of corn or mixed vegetables, just make that chili a little bit more interesting. Or I can make a stew, if I'm making stew out of any vegetable that I want, or I like to throw in like some fake meats, give it a little bit of extra flavor. But frozen vegetables is not something to scoff at. I love soybeans, but I'd hate to shell enough soybeans to give me a bowl of soybeans. I like corn, cut corn, mixed vegetables. Let's go look at the fresh produce over here. You know, sometimes it's hit or miss, just like any produce market. You get there and there's some things will be great, some things aren't so great. Avocados are wonderful for you. You can make cookies using avocados instead of eggs. These are nice little Haas avocados. I eat mushrooms quite a bit, and mushrooms can be a great substitute for meat. For instance, ground meat, but when making any kind of a recipe, because mushrooms absorb the flavor so well. And you can mince up onions and mince up different types of herbs and spices with mushrooms and get like a nice crumbly ground type of product. Remember, you're buying your vegetables per pound, so always consider what your weight you're getting uh, for your dollar. One thing I do love about pineapples, when this thing is cut up, you get pound per pound so much value for your money. Uh, and I'm an expert at carving these up in short order to little chunks. I put them in the freezer and make them into frozen fruit smoothies. I like to eat them just fresh and raw and stuff like that. I love to cook with them. They make any dish delicious with have pineapple cooking them. I make oatmeal with them. This looks like a really nice one. I think I'm gonna splurge and get this $4 pineapple. I make a lot of fruit salads with oranges. You gotta be careful when you're selecting oranges. You don't want anything that's dried up in the middle. So feel it, feel around it. You want kind of a relatively thin skin and you can feel the juice and no spots that are hard. That means it's dry right there. Some of these are better than others. I might have to put a couple of these back and replace, but they're by the pound. So don't worry about the size, worry about the sweetness. But it's all here. If you want ice cream, cake, cookies, candies, there's more than enough varieties for you to choose from that even your most persnickety members of your family will enjoy thoroughly. One thing about Sprouts, very, very well run corporation. They know what the future is and it's plant-based more and more spreading on it all across the store. I love it.